Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. So we're going to be making something today. Uh, it's the most basic workshop or bench accessory that you can have uh, and that is a bench hook. So you probably remember these from your school, basically hooks over the edge of your bench and you can saw against a nice square edge. So I'm going to make mine slightly differently. I've still got some scraps of the plywood left from the bench so, and uh, I want it to match my bench so I'm going to do a laminated kind of thing. Uh, so a big big wood sandwich. Probably not the strongest design but it should be all right for what, what I need it to do. Should be a nice simple build. Once we've got our strips of wood just basically glue them together. Uh, I'll probably use some screws in the end pieces as well for a bit of extra strength. Okay I'll uh, go and cut my wood and then we'll get over to the bench and uh, start building. Okay these are my parts. So my big sandwich will be all of these little one inch by seven inches. Some of the ones I've seen on the internet have been six inches, even seven doesn't really seem enough. And then these are my end pieces. So that'll be my top that you will saw against. And then we'll have a similar arrangement at the other end, obviously downwards. Okay, is that gonna be big enough? Yeah, that will be big enough. Obviously those will be downwards. Okay, let's uh, glue these up in batches, I think. I think I'll do the two end pieces, middle sandwich. In fact, I can do those two together. And this is one big sandwich. Okay, that's the next step. Okay, those are all glued up now um, yeah turns out you can have too much glue I made a bit of a mess and also I've made a fairly I've made it quite difficult for myself but that's okay it'll look cool definitely a straight piece of plywood would have been a lot easier we'll leave that to uh, take for an hour or so that glue and then we'll uh, put it all together into one okay so the glue's had some time to dry uh, I fitted the end pieces off camera. I realised that I uh, should have just added one piece of ply then screwed through. Um, so I've decided not to go ahead and screw on there um, because I think it will ruin the look of it. So it's quite an unorthodox method. Obviously I'm pulling against the, uh, the glue which is probably not brilliant but it looks really cool. So uh, I'm going to clean it up, sand it, give it a finish and we're ready to roll.
There you go, all cleaned up. Just need to sand it now. Looks like a piece of furniture out of the 70s, doesn't it? Beautiful little thing, isn't it? Nice and heavy. I don't know if you can see that, but that will do the job fine. I probably shouldn't have rounded over these edges there because you need a nice crisp edge on that so that you can run your eye down it and get a good line, but I think I'll be all right. Okay, let's get some finish on there. all finished um, I think I might have gone style over substance a little bit on this one it matches my bench looks very pretty does the job it's really solid and it's really come up nice I gave it a coat of uh, the water based finish and I've just given it a bit of a wax polish so yes one of the one of the mistakes I made sorry about the dog barking uh, one of the mistakes I made was to round over this edge here which kind of softens that edge and you actually need it to be quite crisp so that you can um, you know, follow the line of, the, of your saw nice and easily, but I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, nice and solid, really, really happy with that. I'll uh, just quickly show you a, a, a test cut. One thing I did discover when I tested it earlier is that this uh, cutaway on this little uh, dovetail saw that I've got, that can't be right because it means I cannot get down close to the, um, uh, to the wood base when I'm when I'm cutting so that's definitely not right so I think it's just basically been sharpened so far that it's uh, got nothing left I mean I could take it down I suppose maybe I will I don't know anyway okay let's give it a quick test so I'm using it in the uh, vise but I don't have to um, so which saw shall I use uh, yeah let's just use the, the bigger one yeah so when I look at that line there it looks a bit soft it really needs to be a hard crisp edge so that you can line it up nicely. Get the idea my uh, saw needs resetting slightly okay so that is square across there just about see that but it does the job it doesn't look square in my eyes but I think that's because of this uh, weird bit here okay call that a success very happy with that okay so thanks very much for watching um, very happy with that Nice little thing. Um, next up, I'm going to be doing a shooting board. Now, I did think of doing a shooting board that also was a bench hook, but I thought, no, actually, I'd rather have two separate things. But I won't be using the plywood for that. I've got another, another plan for that one. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.